Good day to you friends. Thank you for being here with me. My name is Chelsea and I'm a breast cancer survivor. I'm really excited to be back after a couple of weeks. As you can tell, my voice is still a little bit off, but uh, the sickness is starting to go away. So that's a good thing. So on this channel, what I'm doing is sharing my breast cancer experience with you to help take some of the guesswork out of it. Because that was one of the big things I found was that there was just so much information and a lot of it was over my head and I really just wanted to know what the experience was gonna be like so that I could mentally prepare for myself. So today I'm gonna to be sharing a little bit about my first radiation experience and answer the question, will radiation hurt? A little bit about my journey. The order of events for myself was chemotherapy, mastectomy surgery, radiation. So because I had my surgery before radiation, it was important to allow my body to have some time to heal before kind of challenging the skin with the radiation. So I was allotted two months for my body to heal from the mastectomy. However, the first four weeks of those months, I also needed to get fills because after radiation, I was told that my skin does not is not able to stretch as well. So it was important that we did all the stretching before radiation. So I was told that usually fills are done every two to three weeks, but because we didn't have that kind of time, I had one fill for four weeks in a row, and then I had four weeks to heal and allow my body to get ready for the radiation. So because of my cancer, my surgery, my margins, all of those things, my radiation protocol was set to be 33 radiation sessions done Monday to Friday until they were done. I didn't really know what to expect for radiation like all of the other treatments I had. So I'm gonna take you through my personal experience. I don't know if yours is gonna be the same, if it's completely set up the same as mine at whatever treatment facility you're gonna be at, but I hope that this will just help to give you a little bit of some groundwork so you can know what to expect. I'm also gonna add some photos at the end of this video that show what the machine looks like, the position that I needed to lay on the machine for my particular body placement and just kind of give you a sense of what the room might look like so you can help prepare for that as well. So for radiation, I was asked to remove all of my clothing garments from the top and just put on a robe. Um, I was escorted into the room where the radiation was going to be happening and to be honest with you, it was such a crazy feeling. It was like it was a very secure bank vault. Like going in through that big metal, whatever type of product it was, door, like I feel like the door was so thick and it was just massive and I was just going into this vault. So I went in, that was a little bit intimidating. I was greeted by two very um, helpful radiation technicians and the biggest job it seemed like was getting my body into the position that it needed to be. That was by far the most challenging part of the experience for the people trying to set my body up. From what I could tell, it just it needed to be exactly so every single time I went. So there was a flat, a flat bed for me to lay on. So I would get up on that. I would need to lay on my back. I would need to expose myself, what was getting radiated, and they would put on some stuff. Um, the most challenging part for me, because I didn't really need to line myself up, I just had to follow their instructions, was getting my arm in the position and keeping it there until they could get me lined up and do the radiation procedure. So because 
I just had that surgery. And, you know, getting that range of motion is a really challenging thing sometimes after mastectomy and stretching. And then on top of that, I had my fills that were making everything quite tight. So having to stretch my arm up over my head and hold it there was extremely uncomfortable. So if I were to give you a tip, if you're like, what can I do? I would say work on those post-surgery stretches. That will help make radiation a lot more comfortable for you, in my opinion. So once I was up there and I got all situated, I'm laying there and they would say, okay, don't move. And the technicians would leave the room and then there were some sounds and they would start doing the radiation process. The machine kept its distance from me, but it just kind of rotated around me and did different positions with the radiation. Um, I'm happy to tell you that I was extremely surprised. I could not feel a thing, like zip, nothing, no vibrations, no heat. I couldn't see anything, like there wasn't like a radiation laser that I could see. Um, it was like it wasn't even happening. It was, it was very odd. So that is really exciting. So the only thing that really caused me discomfort during the radiation procedure was that stretching and staying in that position that I needed to be in. After it was done, the technicians would come back in and I'd be able to get up and I was out of there and honestly once I was all set up on the machine and everything was lined up well I would say it only took about three minutes it was so fast and so painless and yeah that is that's it like it uh, obviously there's a lot more to talk about um, you know there was pain that happened over time there was skin skin changes that happened over time um, and i will talk about that another day but for today i just wanted to give you a bit of an introduction so that you can know what to expect for your radiation treatment so as i mentioned i'm going to put some photos at the end to help uh maybe make you a little bit more comfortable more aware of what uh, it might look like in there for you but i thank you for being here with me today i hope that this was helpful in some way hey love I welcome you to subscribe to come along for more experiences with radiation, surgery, and chemotherapy. I'm going to continue to share in order to help you feel more comfortable, more aware, more in the know um, with what's going on with you and your treatment coming from someone who's been through it. So I wish you all the best moving forward in whatever you are tackling. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. Take care, friends.